Hey guys, it's Brianna and today I'm going to be telling you what you do and do not need for college. This is the ultimate packing list for college. I'm telling you, I went through every blog, I went through every YouTube video, I went through every single Pinterest post that I could find about packing lists and I created literally the ultimate packing list and I will be having everything listed right down below as well as a link to a Google Doc where I literally put everything in order in categories for you perfectly. You have it all right here. This is what you do and do not need for college. Let's go. Now, obviously it's going to depend on if you're a boy, if you're a girl, if this is your first year, if this is your last year going to college, like obviously it's all gonna depend. I'm going to my freshman year. Um, so some of the stuff you may not need for college and maybe I just think that I need it and I'll probably make an updated video to this next summer to tell you what you truly need for college. But this is like the ultimate packing list. Um, I've seen a lot of packing lists that left off like important stuff, some that had stuff that was like, you don't like really need that. I don't think that you need a popcorn maker for college. I don't think that's important. So I put together the things that I think you truly need to like survive. I'm going to have everything listed down below, but I'm going to tell you kind of my like true must-haves I think that you need to go to college with or you're not going to survive. Let's look at them. So first of all, clothing. I recommend just bringing basics. You're gonna want plain um, tank tops, tops, um, cardigans, jeans, stuff that you can wear multiple times and kind of wear with different outfits, dress up, dress down. Um, you don't need to bring every t-shirt from home um, that had like your college, not your college, but your high school on it and all that type of stuff. I'll leave that at home. You're at college now. It's some transition. Move on from high school. Um, give the shirts to a friend that's still in high school, give it to your mom, your boyfriend, your brother, someone else. Just don't wear them anymore. Don't bring them to college with you. I guess you can bring them if you want to like sleep in them, but I recommend just leaving those at home um, as well as just like stuffed animals, any kind of memorabilia like that that's just going to take up room. I mean, you might leave your favorite stuffed animal behind. You can maybe bring a couple, but you don't need to bring your entire collection of Beanie Babies. All right, let's leave those at home. Now I have a couple of like laundry slash closet necessities. First thing, you need a rolling laundry basket. Now, the one that I got is from Walmart. It is a three storage laundry basket, so I can put lights, mediums, darks, wash it in those categories. Super easy, makes it super easy on myself. Um, if you want just one big basket, that's fine. Don't get a super small one because be realistic with yourself. Are you going to like wash your clothes like every week or is it gonna be every two weeks, every month? Be realistic, buy that size that you're gonna need. Also, a lot of people in their closet, they have a little shelf on the top and you can put little like containers and stuff up there. You can put like your cleaning supplies, hats, maybe like winter clothes if it's fall time and you don't need those right now. Um, just look to maximize storage space in the best way possible. So they have a little bins at Target that you can buy and you can throw in some stuff and put that up on top. Maybe things that you necessarily don't need like every single day because it's going to be annoying if you constantly have to like climb up to the top of your closet and grab the stuff out. Put like I said like cleaning supplies, um, out of season clothes, hats, belt, something like that that you don't necessarily wear or need every single day. And something I recommend that a lot of people in my school do, we all have like walk-in closets. They're not like walk-in walk-in, but they're like, there's not a door over them. So they're like in the wall. So what a lot of people in my school do is they will just take a curtain rod and they will put a curtain over the top and put that over the top of their closet. Just so if it gets a little bit messy in there, or if you just want to keep your room looking a little bit more clean and organized, literally I haven't like walked into anybody's room unless it's a boy's room that they have haven't had that hanging up in their room. So I think that's super helpful. Just makes your room look a little bit more cleaner and nicer. If you have like clothes all over in your closet, just shut the curtain and it's like there's not a mess at all. Now we're gonna talk about kind of your bed stuff. The number one main thing you need for your bed is a mattress topper, a foam topper, gel thing, something is going to make your bed more comfortable because they buy the cheapest box spring mattresses that they can find on the internet for your rooms in your dorm room. They're not going to be comfortable. They're not going to be your mattress firm ones from home that you love sleeping on every single night. No, you're gonna have to buy something to put on over the top. Um, unless you wanna just be highly uncomfortable. Personally, it hurts like my back and my legs when I sleep on uncomfortable mattresses. So I made it for sure to buy one of these. It's a little bit of an investment, but maybe if you have older siblings that already went through, maybe they have one that you can use or you have younger siblings, you could pass 
pass it off to. It's definitely an investment that I think is worth spending. Along with bedding, you're also going to want to buy twin extra long sheets, if especially if you're going to get like a mattress pad. It's not going to fit on there with just normal sheets, unless they're just extra big for some reason. Um, you're definitely going to want to get bigger ones. Um, you're going to want to have bigger ones more than you're going to want to have like smaller ones that don't fit and constantly come off because I've had that before happen and it's so annoying. So just go ahead and take the burden off yourself and just buy the twin extra long. I literally think they're the same price. So you couldn't go wrong. Also, I'd recommend getting lots of blankets and pillows um, to cover your bed in just to make it more homey. I personally have a lot of blankets and pillows on my bed at home. So as you can see. Um, I just think they'll make it a little bit more homey in my dorm room if I have lots of just warmth and comfort around me, especially during the winter time. Next thing that is essential is a trash can. Let's be honest with ourselves, they probably put one little measly trash can in your room, especially during that first week of school, you're going to be making so much trash because you're moving in, you have all this new stuff, it's in packaging, you're throwing it away, and how often do you truly think you're going to take out the trash? Probably not that much. So if nothing else, buy just one extra trash can um, so you and your roommate each have one, or if you want to buy another one so you have even more trash cans. I'm someone that likes to have a lot of trash cans, I don't know why, but that means that you uh, won't have to take out the trash as much. And with that, just bring um, reusable bags from home, like those ones you get from Target, wherever else that you shop at, those just little shopping bags, just stuff a ton of those whenever you went shopping for your dorm stuff. Um, keep all of those and take those to college with you and just put those in the trash can. It's gonna make it so much more easier on you to take out your trash. I mean, you want something to line your trash can because who knows what's gonna be in there. For a bathroom, um, I'm speaking on behalf of people that have a community bathroom. I don't know about like a suite style. Maybe you can go check out a different video for that. But for a community bathroom, you definitely gonna need a shower caddy just so you can put everything in the caddy and just walk down the hallway to your bathroom um you're not going to want to like take your shampoo and conditioner and like try to hold everything in your arms while you walk down with your bathrobe and everything else just don't do that just make it easy on yourself grab a shower caddy put everything you need in there um i recommend getting one that kind of like so if water gets in there it can get back out with like holes or breathable or whatever I definitely recommend one of those as well as shower shoes um, because there could be some gross and nasty stuff in those bathrooms. They may clean them every day, but they'll still be disgusting. You're still going to want to wear shower shoes, so definitely need both of those. For cleaning supplies, I would totally recommend if you have the money, buy a Roomba. Buy one of those because if you have hardwood floors, those can clean up so nicely. But not a lot of us have money for a Roomba, so if you don't, you can just get like a Swiffer duster or some kind of portable vacuum or something so you can clean up your room. Um, especially if you have a rug, which I recommend getting a rug, especially if you have hardwood floors. It's going to make it a little bit more cozy and warm during the winter time. Um, so I think a portable vacuum or any kind of portable cleaner is going to be so nice because you don't want your room to get like super dirty and you just never clean it definitely get one of those. Next thing I recommend getting is an Ikea roller cart. You guys have probably seen these if you've been on Pinterest and looked on any kind of dorm like decor or rooms on Pinterest. They always have them on there. Just Ikea little roller carts. They're literally $25. Not a lot at all. Other like companies have started making like knockoff versions of them or just their own version. They're usually more expensive and not quite as durable. I've noticed that the ones from Ikea are very, very durable. You can put your Keurig on there, um, your other coffee maker, food, snacks, whatever you could put on there. And it rolls around perfectly. It can fit like under in between tight spaces. It's not like super large. I think that it's a fantastic little piece of furniture that you can then transition into later into your apartment or your home later on in life. It's not something that you'll just use your freshman year of college and never use again. Try to find pieces that you can use and transition again into your apartment, into a home. Um, don't just buy stuff that you're just going to use your freshman year and then never, never use again because you're just kind of wasting your money. So um, what I would recommend I'm personally doing is I'm going to loft my bed a little bit and I'm actually going to put those little eight box organizers that you can get from Target um, or I guess they're like nine, six, I think they have 12. Um, I'll insert a picture right here somewhere so you guys know what I'm talking about or I'll link it down below. Um, those are super nice and I think there's something you can transition into an apartment or home um, a lot easier than a lot of people just get those little like plastic drawer boxes, which those are fine if that's something that you want, but I knew that I would never use that again. So I didn't want to waste my money on something like that. Um, I wanted to get something 
that looks a little bit nicer and I knew that I would use again. Some kitchen supplies you're going to make sure you bring is a microwave, a fridge, a mini fridge. I would recommend um, buying one of the ones that has like a freezer on top and then a fridge underneath because you might want to freeze some things and those are just a little bit more bigger so you have enough room. Um, I can't imagine that there's probably going to be that much room. Um, in your little fridge so make sure you have as much room as possible and you're able to stuff as much as you can in there don't buy like a tiny tiny one you're not gonna be able to put anything in there and that's really just gonna be a waste of money so you could spend to splurge a little bit more on a bigger refrigerator um those are kind of annoying because again you can't really use them again you can probably use them um in your apartment or something like that but um you can always sell them again to incoming freshmen i know a lot of people do that I also recommend buying a keurig you will fall in love with coffee when you go to college literally everyone does it's just going to happen it's inevitable so instead of spending five dollars on a cup of coffee from starbucks every morning just buy yourself a keurig they have lots of great deals going on right now um, try out a couple K-Cups like during the summer, see what you like, and then when you go to college, you're able to kind of see like what K-Cups you like, or you can just buy a variety pack and just try a bunch of different ones and decide which ones you like the best, so then when you go to college, you know how to make a great cup of coffee for yourself in the morning before you head off to your 8 a.m. class. <laughs> Another tip I have is to bring a filtered water bottle. I know bobble water bottles are really great. I'll link one down below from Amazon, um, just because if you're, you know, filling your water bottle up from the water fountain, not that they're water Water is bad by any means but sometimes you're kind of weird like me and you water your water what you want your water to be filtered um, so yeah I think it's a great water bottle um, has a little filter in it you can buy different filters for it there's a lot of different kinds um, you could just go to Target and probably find one um, or you can buy a Brita filter and if you have enough room in your mini fridge you could totally put that in there and that just gives you like instant like filtered water and then you can just pour that into your water bottle whatever you prefer. So that's going to be most of my like essentials and things I just kind of highlighted on this list. Again, I'll have the entire list down below as well as the Google Doc to the list so you can print it off or do whatever you want with it. Um, I believe this is truly like the ultimate packing list. These are things that I'm going to bring to college with me. I don't think any of them are things you shouldn't have or too much or extra. I think that everything is something that you will use and personally I know that I will use. Again, cater it, adjust it to your needs. Um, but yeah, I think this is an awesome list. I think it's going to help a lot of people and so I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys could look at it and or maybe help a friend or maybe you're a mom that's watching this trying to figure out what to get for your son, daughter, whatever. Check out this packing list down below. It's going to help you guys. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for the video today. If you guys want any more college videos or back to school videos, make sure to request them down below and I'll make sure to do them. I'm just on like a filming spree lately so I'll make sure to do that video for you guys. So. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.